Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. Garrett and I just went to Walmart and grabbed some dog veggies and, of course, a few other small goodies. Um, I'll probably include that clip either while I'm talking at some point, whatever editing Becky chooses to do. But right now, we're making dinner. Um, yesterday, last night, which is the last video you guys saw, um, we went to Daisy's, which was one of the best like food experiences because we spent a bunch of money at Daisy's. We're eating in tonight. Stir fry, it's one of the easiest things I make. I make it all the time. Green beans, mushrooms, ground turkey, which I've been thawing out all day today. I think whatever green beans I don't use tonight, I'm gonna freeze and then make sure we have them in the next two weeks because in two weeks we're leaving. That, that is crazy to me. All right, my friends. So I end up making like a teriyaki version of my stir fry. Just change it up a little bit. I will link the recipe for you guys in the description below. I just wanted to change it up. Honestly, I wasn't really in the mood for stir fry, but like I said, we're still blowing on a budget here in Chicago and we are allowing ourselves to spend money when we can and like go do fancy things like go to Daisy's, which we normally don't do back home. Um, so we're trying to enjoy it while we can, but also <laughs> I didn't notice Missy waiting for the mushrooms behind me. That's so funny. Um, yeah, while we can, we're going to do the fun things, but we also have to still be mindful and, you know, not spend money always. So I just changed it up a little bit so we could have a different flavor profile. And it was good. I really liked it. It was, it was a good change up. I definitely recommend that recipe as well. And also something really important and that we always do in this house is we season every layer. That's how you know your food's going to taste good. If you just do a little salt and pepper, girl, that is not seasoned. And so you better season every layer because look how yummy this looks. And I made some rice and then I plated it up all fancy special and it was absolutely delicious good morrow my friends i have an evolve package to open with you guys i got this a few days ago i did pick out all these items evolve sent me like a little gift card and they're like pick whatever you want which is really kind of them here's what i purchased when i had the freedom to like pick out whatever I wanted. Evolve Smart Start Leave-In Conditioner. I really like this as a refresh spray. When I don't have hair magic, um, which I don't have hair magic and I haven't had hair magic in a while, I really like this for refreshes. It is a leave-in conditioner, so you can use it for like a light leave-in conditioner, but I tend to prefer like a, a thicker leave-in. Of course, the Insta Volume Volumizing Mousse which, oh, they have a clear top on this one. I have missed this. It's a foam consistency, it's not really a mousse. This is probably one of my favorite foams. It's so good. I've been using the Cantu Beauty, I believe. Um, that's the name of it. This one, it just doesn't replace that, this one for me. So, love that. And then I got the Evolve Ultra Flex Hairspray. I love this stuff, it's awesome. The Better Roots Better Root Boost Serum. This stuff is amazing. I haven't had this in a minute. I love the Root Boost Serum. Honestly, I think I'm gonna use that today. Uh, but my hair is a disaster zone right now, so I probably will do like a little bit of a a fix for today. I don't really know like what we're gonna do today or what we're gonna be up to, but these two pimples on my face just it's just unwell okay I feel really cute I um, am wearing the overalls that we bought the other day I'm taking the dogs out before we leave to go to the conservatory we're also going to go to um, Johnny's beef for the full effect here she blows I feel like I look pretty cute definitely outside of my comfort zone definitely unusual for me but i think it's cute we are headed on an adventure to get a johnny's beef sandwich never had it heard it's the best one in all of chicago chicago land so that's what we're doing today e boy i e not the y baby 
Italian ice. Mm. Oh! Oh, that is, that is good! Mm. Wow! Talk to me, what are you feeling? It's so good. Okay, so we went to the Garfield Park Conservatory. It's one I've seen on Instagram. Um, like most things I've seen that are like, try this fun thing in Chicago because I've been looking like crazy girl all, the, all over the place. Like fun things to do for free, fun things to do that isn't super touristy, blah, blah, blah. You get it. And I, we both really enjoyed it. It was super beautiful, super peaceful, and a great way to spend your afternoon. I cannot imagine coming here in the middle of summer, though, because those greenhouses were freaking hot. And we went on a nice day where it wasn't super hot. We just got home, and I immediately took off my green headband because I had tied it so tight because I was trying to make sure it wouldn't fall off of my head. Um, that little conservatory, super cute. Johnny's Beef. We've heard nothing but good things and they were all well, well deserved because holy cow, that place was super good. I gotta show you guys something. I'm having one. I'm sorry to say, I really want one. Right now I need to figure out a few things. Oh my God. Tell, I thought that was a man in her bathroom. Celsius pop. So good. I looked for her. So Celsius recently dropped a cherry cola and I love cherries and I loved the Celsius cola flavor that they had. It was one of my favorites. You could barely find it. Now I, you cannot find it at all. Okay. Anyway, so I went in there to see if they had a cherry cola because if they had a cherry cola, I was going to get it and try it, but no cherry cola. So I got my absolute favorite one, the Celsius orange sickle it's so good anyways what i was gonna say was i'm pretty sure we're gonna stay here for dinner we're not entirely sure today is currently friday and so our week start again on sunday like pay wise like how we budgeted out for our summer here in chicago we're like getting to to the end of our spending money today was free because johnny's was cash only and we pull out cash um, so we had cash for it. So basically it didn't come out of this week's budget and that's on girl math. Okay. I'm teaching that to my husband. We we're driving home and I was like, today was a free event. And he was like, what? And I was like, well, Johnny's was free and the conservatory was free. And we only spent five bucks cause I got two of these cause it's buy one, get one. So might as well. He was like, oh, we pay for Johnny's. And I said, well, we already took that cash out. So we have already accounted for it. And he was laughing. He was like, okay, I see. I see your thought process. <laughs> um, anyways, all that to say, we could be eating dinner here. We could not, I don't really know. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. I didn't really plan for a meal tonight and we do have um, some corn left. I guess I can do corn, chicken, potatoes. That's a meal, right? But like, I don't really wanna do that. I wanna do like something more like something more than just corn, chicken, potatoes. But you know, whatever I make, I'm gonna need chicken because that's what we have. Thaw it out with some like seasoning and stuff. My friends, it's the next day. Um, last night I did indeed make the KFC copycat famous bowl thing. It turned out pretty okay, I would say. We have leftovers, so that's what we're gonna do for dinner tonight because it's Saturday and our like money rolls like we have once a week. I think I told you this. So tomorrow starts our like new payment. So we're trying to stick in our budget and eat, eat at home. But Garrett got this. Let me show you. Look what he got me. So thoughtful. So I'll be having this after dinner for sure. But I think we're just going to have a movie night. I think tomorrow we're going to do more exploring and fun stuff. But I will link the KFC Famous Bowl for you guys to try. I'm sure you've 
had it or tried it, I don't know, but I would definitely make that again. Good morning, friends. I look crazy. Um, I woke up with the worst headache, and so I've been using, this is what we call the squid. I've been using it all morning. This is right here. I got it from Amazon. My sister got it for me as a present, and it was such a thoughtful gift um, because I use it all the time. But look, watch, we call it the squid because look how silly you look. <laughs> and you can like move the little squishies around to have it be on your pressure points and you can put this in the free freezer or the fridge if you want it to be cold I don't like it like that but uh that's been the vibe this morning so I've also been using my little neck massager to help with the pressure and I'm feeling better so it's time to get ready because we are going to go to brunch we're in the car about to leave to go to Lula Cafe. I got ready, but then I spilt perfume on my dress and then I tried to make it better by using water to clean the dress. And it's mostly dry now, but you can kind of sort of see it, but we're just went for it, cause whatever. But we're gonna go to Lula Cafe finally and I'm really excited about it. Hello, I dropped Garrett off because, well, we switched, we did a little, we did a little switcheroo because <laughs> there's a huge amount of traffic right here. And for whatever reason, I don't usually get social anxiety very often. It's not something I typically deal with. I am definitely more introverted, but he was like, hey, like what if I drop you off and you go into the Lula Cafe because we're stuck in traffic because it's like right here, but the market, the Logan Square Market makes it like super crazy traffic. And for whatever reason today, I was like, eh. for whatever reason, I have social anxiety today. So how about we do a switch and I find parking and you go get a spot. And he was like, okay, well, if you're okay with that. So he got out of the car, I got in the driver's seat and now I'm waiting in the traffic. So yeah, I don't really know why that got to me today, but for whatever reason today, it was really like, no thank you for the socialness which is weird so like the fact that I'm dealing with that I'm just kind of trusting that I'm dealing with that for a reason and and I have a nice husband who's like oh yeah sure whatever works better for you we can do so all right I'll see you guys later when I find a parking spot okay we found parking we being me found parking do I have to part pay I'm pretty sure not right hold on okay I got nervous so I had to pay for parking and I didn't walk back to check didn't have to pay so all is well continuing to meet Garrett he's walking towards me we see each other our location so now we're just like trying to find each other in Logan Square <laughs> okay so like I was saying in the car I don't know why I had a little bit of social anxiety on this day which is not typical for me so I just try to ride it out enjoy the afternoon with Garrett and the Logan Square farmer's market is very very cute and if you are ever in Logan Square, definitely if you're going to wait at Lula Cafe, if you show up around like 12 or 1 and like explore the farmer's market while you wait, best way to do it because it kills the hour like super, super fast. My friends, remember how I told you that I wanted to go into the Jewel, but they had $10 off if I did a pickup order? I wonder if they did that order or a special for a lot of people because... Our or schedule, our order was scheduled to be picked up at like four, and they're not even ready for us yet, and it's way past four. So, I'm thinking Jewel sent that out to everybody. <laughs> Hello, vlog. I literally got changed, went to lay down on the bed, and it was like your your order is ready for pickup. So, going to pick it up now because our dinner for this evening is in the pickup. I do want to go in this jewel still. I still haven't gone inside yet. If I don't go in the next grocery haul here, I'm never going to go inside this jewel because it's this week and then next week is our last full week here. Hold on, let me check in. All right, my friends, we are having dinner here tonight and I'm going to have a glass of wine. Um, I haven't had this wine before, so are we gonna do a little wine review? I think so. This is Porta 6. It's a red blend, so let me open her up. All right. They have this type of wine opener, and this is like 
I'm not great with these, so um, let's do our best again. Yeah. The question becomes, can she use this wine opener? Twist it. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ta-da. Okay, let's smell it. Ooh, yeah, look, that was almost really bad. You see that rip right there? Give ourselves a pour. This is a really pretty red color. Ready, cheers. That's good. Ooh, I really like that. All right, because I have forgotten to end the last couple of vlogs. So uh, I love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in another one super soon. Okay, bye.